In order that this may be, we must purge first your heart, then your mind, and then your body, of every sense and inclination of the personal self. That can only be accomplished by my holy impersonal love, with which I will fill your heart, so that there will be no room in it for any part of self. With the heart purified and sweetened, the mind will attract and think only pure and sweet thoughts, my thoughts, which are always pure wisdom. Therefore, you will see only purity and goodness in all things. Naturally, the, being no more controlled or influenced by wrong thoughts, your body will become subservient to my life, whose vitalizing, purifying, and perfecting power will drive from it all inharmonies. Then, with only my love in your heart, my thoughts in your mind, and my life in your body, you will know I am your own true self, for then there will be no other self. Then I am your true self will go forth in the world, but not be of it. You will no longer be attracted to or by it, but you will see with my eyes, hear with my ears, and know with my understanding all things. You no longer will see only the outward appearance of things, but you will see them in their reality. Nothing past, present, or future will be hidden from you, for the limitations of the human nature are no longer there, and in the spirit there is no time, space, personalities, or separation. All is one. And you will go forth with the consciousness of this great impersonal love within you, as the very substance of your nature, and through it I will uplift, strengthen, help, and bless all whom I will lead you to or attract to you. Love be in your nature, and on the earth plane in man it be in the per pure and perfect expression of my life. It is always pushing forth in and through him towards full, complete, harmonious outer manifestation. And with the consciousness of your divinity, and of the divine power my love gives you, instead of parading such or giving evidence of such in any personal way, you will only give and help and bless impersonally, seeking to remove all fetters, all hindrances, all limitations that prevent my life in any way from expressing in and through your fellow beings. Thus you become one with the life, with my inner impersonal life, Therefore, one with me, the fount and source of all blessing, earthly and divine. And therefore, you will no longer seek to teach or lead others because you have become impersonal. And being impersonal, you will let me, within both them and you, do all the teaching and directing. You will no longer seek to lead, but only to follow me. And you will no longer even seek to be wise or good are strong, are rich, are healthy, are happy, because you are all these things, being one with me, who am the inner essence of which these things are but the outer manifestation. And you will know that all in harmony presages the coming harmony that all lack is but my urge toward complete expression, that all darkness is but shadow indicating the direction of the light that all weakness is part of the effects of training which will result in a perfected will, and that all evil is good and necessary to one who has attained to my impersonal consciousness and viewpoint. And so you will go about your business, whatever it be, for then you will know that all business is my business, and instead of seeking and striving to gain for self the spiritual blessings that lie at the mountain top, you will cease all ceasing all seeking and striving, and will have forgotten self, and will feel the great love within, letting it quicken and awaken and help and strengthen the struggling souls about you, seeking to comprehend and obey the feeling of me within their hearts, but who, owing to their immature and untrained minds, are misunderstanding that feeling, and consequently my meaning, as I try to make it known from within. And I will lead them to you, or you to them that I may teach them first from without through you, just as I have brought to you my message through these words, 
so will I give my messenger no so will I give my message to many hundreds of others through words I shall speak through you but this cannot be as I propose it until I can live my impersonal life in you until you have yielded up your human personality to my divine impersonality not until you determine with all the power of your will and yearn with all the hunger of your soul to live the impersonal life to make your personal self wait upon and serve me your own true impersonal self can I give you even a glimpse of my real meaning but when I have vouchsafed you that glimpse my beloved ever afterward will the glory of it be with you and it will lead you on and on and ever on until my full meaning is forced from me by the might of your soul's desire that is my message its mission is to awaken in you this desire the desire to live the impersonal life this is a high teaching and it is only for those who can see it for those whom I have prepared and made ready for its reception to such however it is but the door which opens to far higher teachings that I will give to them direct from out their own souls those who come to me in loving faith and trust and who are willing to empty their hearts of self that I may fill them with my holy impersonal love for I here promise you I have in store for those who yearn to come to me by the simple loving impersonal way great wonders of spiritual blessings which will be to them a source of endless joy and that I will give to them as I abide in them and they in me the unlimited use of all of my divine powers and attributes and this is the end now of the teacher which was part of Joseph Benner's book called The Way Out it's a very good book I hope that you can read it and if you would like to get in touch with me I can send it to you in a file so I, I love this book very much especially this part to the teacher and I can't say I have learned all these lessons that I'm talked about in reading this but I do know that this is good and this is what I'm striving for and I hope it will be what others will strive for too to empty ourselves of self and just let God live in and through us okay well this is the end of this uh, series of discussions or, or well not discussions readings it would be nice to have some discussion if someone would make a comment now and then that would be very encouraging to me I have other good books I want to read parts of too and I will let you go now. Have a good day. Have a good night.